Oh, look at that. I've never seen those bubbles on the end like that. That's interesting. Okay, you're a keeper. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did. The Yellowstone River is down and so we are turning to inland pursuits. Today we are near Ingemar, Montana and we are looking for fossils, sea fossils to be exact. You can find baculites, ammonites, and scaphites here that are all remnants of residents of an ancient sea. I'm really excited to see what we can find. Come along! One pretty cool thing you can find here besides the sea fossils are these gypsum crystals and sometimes they grow Sometimes they actually grow in the shape of a Christmas tree. I'm hoping to find some of those. But that's pretty cool. There's some other, some more over here. I'm just gonna put those in the pocket of my backpack. What it, this is an example of a baculite. A baculite was a prehistoric squid and it had this long cone-like shell which is where this comes from and they had these little these little baffles in it so that they could float up and down and those these are called sutures in the fossil this is a pretty small one for this area I mean it's a chunk but it's just a little tiny segment I'm gonna leave it behind but I thought I would let you see what it looks like this particular area also has clam shells these are remnants of what's called an inoceramus clam. We actually found an inoceramus clam that was just huge in this area. Um, there's some more. And over here we have something that I'm not quite sure. It looks like there's an inoceramus clam here, but then there's another clam uh, imprint here. That's cool. One of the reasons I want, am wanting to find some good fossils is because they have this stuff on them that is mother of pearl, and if you polish it correctly, it becomes this really incredible stuff called am amylite. And Theo Kellison has videos explaining how to do that. I want to give it a try. And here are a couple really good pieces that I think would be, might be useful, might be able to be brought to gorgeousness. So we'll give it a shot. This is small, but it is just a gorgeous example of the sutures that are in the baculites. This is so, so pretty, and this polishes just beautifully. Really nice. This is a twofer. Baculite on this side. Some kind of Mm, ammonite maybe on the other side. It has these little bumps on it, so maybe a scaphite. Very cool. Kava, what is your problem? I'm bored, Mom! Here is another just beautiful example of a of a baculite that has tons and tons of sutures and it's just stuck in the matrix like that, that would be cool to just sit on top of a desk or something. Really neat. This is kind of a neat example of a fossil that's been smooshed all together. So this long piece here is a baculite. This is probably part of a clam. This is part of another clam. And it has all kind of cemented together under the ocean. This is very awesome. It is a completely calcified piece of baculite and you can see the sutures in there. It's got a little bit of this amylite on top of it. That's worth polishing. You'd think that this little one was just because of a it was a little teeny tiny baculite, but in fact it could have very well been the teeny tip of a very big one. The first time I ever found one of these was at the river and it didn't I didn't have it didn't have these little sutures on it. It was just a flat piece that was flat on both sides and then oval like this. And I had this weird idea that it was like a blank for an arrowhead, which is completely ridiculous. Anyway, 
I like them. The ground here is eroded shale. It was basically mud beds from a giant, giant inland sea that has become full of life and whiny dogs. Jim is up on top of this hill and she does not like it at all. She's been whining the whole time I've been here. It looks like this is some kind of a ground nest. It's not really in the middle of the grass where I would expect it. It's kind of on a trampled down area. So maybe it got moved somehow. Here's a nicer example of the Inoceramus clam. Looks like it even has a little bit of mother of pearl left on it. And on the other side, it's got another clam imprint <laughs> that goes the opposite direction. So they got sandwiched together and fossilized. Kava has gone clear to the top of the hill, apparently so she can keep an eye on both Jim and me. She's a funny dog. Who's in charge here anyway? Here's another calcified piece of baculite that has some really nice sutures in it. A little bit of mother of pearl there. The only downside, it got squished on the other side. But it still would make a great display piece. This beautiful little piece might polish up and actually make like a, if I trimmed it right, make a nice little piece of jewelry, a pendant or something. Very pretty. This little baby is, I'm sure, where they called the place Muscle Butte. There's also the Muscle Shell River, and these things must have been all over the place. This doesn't look like much, but look, gypsum crystals have grown all over this baculite. It's pretty sweet. There's some more of those. I guess they call them death plates, you know that kind of name makes me sad. It's basically a whole bunch of shells smashed together and buried and fossilized together. I guess at least they have, you know, each other. <laughs> oh, look at that. I've never seen those bubbles on the end like that. That's interesting. Okay, you're a keeper. Ooh, look at the amylite on that one. Can you see it shine? It's another one of those mussel shells with crystals on it this time. Oops, it broke. That one has mother of pearl in the sutures. I'll keep it. I just saw this teeny tiny little one sticking out here. And it looks like it might go back just a little ways. Just a little ways. Isn't that cute? Just have to excavate, see how far back it goes. So cute. More amylite. I definitely want to try this stuff. It looks kind of fiddly, which means that I'll probably have to get Jim to help because he's good at fiddly, but I can see the possibilities. sure what that is. Maybe a clam shell? Saw a chunk of mother of pearl sticking out. That's what it made me stop and get it, like this one. It took me a little while to figure out how to use my this backpack because I'm not using my regular backpack, so I lost a couple really nice pieces. Couldn't went back to try to find them. I couldn't. <gasps> Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I'm gonna try to polish those. Yes, yes. There's 
almost looks like there's something, probably an ammonite on the bottom of this, but it's, oh, it's just crumble, crumble, crumbly. Oh, sad. Oh, but look at that. Oh my gosh, those, are, those don't even look real. They're so beautiful. It looks like some kind of artificial coloring, but it's not, it's 100% natural. Here's another one of those baculites with gypsum crystals on it, but this one, the crystals are pretty big. Be sure when you're hiking in this kind of area to look out in the shade for rattlesnakes because that's where they like to hang out because they get hot just like the rest of us. So you don't want to accidentally step on one because they don't like that. Rattlesnakes really don't have it in for us. They really just want to be left alone. But if you step on it, they're going to defend themselves. So most of what I pick up today is going to be available on eBay under Katie Did Rocks uh, for a three-day auction. I don't really collect fossils. I love coming out here and finding them, but I figured I'd share a little bit with you. So if you want some fossils of your own, check it out. I will throw in some other stuff I've got, uh, other fossils I've got as well, and it uh, should be a nice little package. If you're enjoying this video, be sure and click subscribe. Likes, comments, and shares also help. And you can visit my Etsy store, Katie Did Rocks, or click the join button and become a channel member. Thanks. This is very interesting. Some more of those bubbles. I don't know that I've ever seen. Look, it looks like a little person. Hello, Kate. Are you having a good time today? Why, yes, I am. Thank you, rock person. That's good. Thank you for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing.